Well, as we saw with Phil Keating and heard from Janice, Irma's outer bands are already hitting some parts of southern Florida. Meanwhile, a few more hours of preparation available a little bit north. And that is where we find former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, right now. Uh, it sure looks beautiful behind you, sir. Uh, and it sort of uh, betrays, I guess, uh, or belies the danger uh, coming. You've been through these disasters and these storms before as governor. What is going through Rick Scott's mind right now? Well, let me say, I don't know of anyone who could have handled it better than Governor Scott. He has been absolutely terrific in his leadership. And what he's doing, he's not only reacting to what is happening, but he is preparing for what could happen. And he has done a masterful job of, of helping people to understand the danger of the storm, uh, giving very specific instructions on getting out of uh, harm's way. He has marshaled every asset and resource that is available to him and to the entire state of Florida and pre-staged it so that they don't have to try to figure out how to get those resources to people. They're already in place. That is masterful planning on his part. And he has been, I don't know when the man is sleeping because he is completely on top of this as much as any human can be. But as we've seen, even in Janice's report just now, and boy, have I ever been tuned into Janice Dean over the last few days. But the fact is this storm is so unpredictable. It has changed even in the past six hours, uh, Leland, from when I got up and it was absolutely calm, looked like we were out of it. Mm. We saw changes here on the Gulf Coast in the Florida Panhandle just in the past few hours in terms of, of now having tropical storm warnings that are potentially headed our way. So we just don't know. And I mean, I think right now everybody in our neighborhood is saying we better prepare, yeah. not necessarily for hurricane, but for tropical storm. Well, and you think about the hundreds of miles of coastline up the west coast of Florida from Key West up to Miami and then all the way up to where you are. There is a lot that needs to be done. What's the balance here between giving people information, telling them what might happen, what the worst case scenario is, and at the same time not scaring them? Because in the past we have heard warnings like this that have been this dire, and then it turns out, thankfully, that they were a little bit much. Let me be blunt. It's a whole lot better to have people afraid and reacting to what might happen than to make them uh, have some false sense of peace and then having to fish dead bodies out of uh, uh, surges of water. That's the worst scenario, is, is not to have people frightened enough. You always run the risk that the next time something happens, they'll say, yeah, I remember before. But when, when I think Janice was talking about the storm surge, I could not... Uh, focus more upon that because really the big danger is that storm surge. A, a body of water moving at 10 miles an hour has the force of a 240 mile an hour wind. Yeah. Uh, you might be able to withstand wind. You cannot withstand any amount of water that is moving and that's why floods are so dangerous is why more people die in them than they do in any other natural disaster and it's why the storm surge and that's what frankly is right now a bigger threat to the wow. panhandle of florida in the area of bay walton okaloosa uh, these counties uh, yeah. around where we live uh, if that water comes up and, and one other thing leland the, the the water is very shallow or the, the shelf is shallow just off the coast so that means that when those waves start coming, uh, they're coming on up. Yeah. All right, Governor, uh, stay safe down there. Uh, we know the picture uh, behind you is going to change. Uh, our thoughts and prayers with you uh, and your wife as well. We'll be checking back in with you, sir. Thanks, Leland. Thank you.